Hello and welcome, my name is Mas. I'm going to be showing you my bachelor project where I made uh, a sorting machine for boxes onto pallets, which is made in factory U and I used a Siemens S7 1500 PLC. To the bottom left corner we have the HMI shown and uh, the factory U is uh, the larger window. Now, first of all let's start it up and here we have the HMI. Let's log in using my password admin and then start up the machine you're gonna see the machine is um, handling the boxes and pallets here we see the PA in places uh, taking off up uh, boxes and let's uh, try and stop the machine um, we go in on the stacker and then we click stop feeding you see that the feeding has stopped. <coughs> Let's start the feeding. And we can go back by clicking the overview. And then back, uh, we can click on the pick and place uh, hidden button. Uh, and then we will see the live picture of the pick and place XY on the HMI. They're following each other. We can click um, the overview button, go back, we can also go into the picking place uh, by the hidden button or the, the button down in the bottom line. Uh, we also have here the holding station where you can see various in outputs of uh, the machine. Back to overview. And we are able to stop feeding of both um, emitters. Emitters are the green boxes. Uh, we can only see one of them here. We see that no boxes or pallets are being made. We can start it again. And uh, if we hold down the button uh, stop area five seconds, then uh, the entire machine is stopping. But the feeding is not stopping from the um, from the boxes, so we have to start before we get overwhelmed. That was an intentionally system behavior we designed in order to see how the system handles the fact that boxes are spawning, um, but the system is stopped. Click on network, we have uh, the various uh, hardware here. I'm not going to show you much about network. We can see the project information. We can see the administrations for uh, usernames, password, login time. We can see overall equipment efficiency, where we have the calculations. We can see the input numbers used for calculating OE. And we have the availability uh, changed and the performance and quality, which provide us with the overall OE. Furthermore, we have the caliber screen, clean screen, stop run time. We're not interested in seeing these, so let's carry on. In order to show the error log, we have to click here. In order to uh, see an error, we have to provoke an error in factory I.O. Let's start by these two. We have the two sensors. And this will provide a warning. This will provide an error for the system because it simulates that we have no more... Um, no more wrapping... Uh, actually, no more uh, pallets for the system. And if we go in, we can accept the fault. Reset it and then start the system again. The system will carry on. We still have the yellow light on this because I didn't uh, put in. I didn't put in the um, the box for the warning light. I'm just gonna put that in behind the HMI. You can't see it. Then uh, we are able to reset the warning. No yellow lights. 
carrying on to the picking place. We also have here three falls. Um, I'm gonna show you a few of them. Oh, I forgot to start the system with feeding after the error. So, if I hold down this box, the picking place will not be able to pick it up and it will provide us with an error, you can see it here. Clear the error, go back and then reset the system and then the picking place uh, will try again. It's also implemented that uh, it's, it's, it's gonna try three times. If it fails, it goes into error, but it's allowed to try, try uh, two times. So let's see, one, two. And it carries on. And then, however, if um, the picking place is dropping the box on the movement, an error will occur as well. Um, the pallets will not be... Um, they will not be released before a uh, box has been uh, delivered to it. So by resetting the error, the pick and place will then get a new box. Also we are able to force, uh, let's just say, the, the x-axis here um, and uh, force it to be uh, fixed, which means it will not uh, be able to change the, the X uh, variable in the picking place. This will provide a error, obstruction error, because the picking place is not moving as expected. We see it here, and it's also in the top of the HMI as minor one. We can confirm it, and then we are able to as first remove the error, and then reset it on the PLC, start the error and the machine will carry on. Pick and place is not uh, designed for uh, handling more boxes uh, at a time, so here we have a little bit overflow, but it's okay, it, uh, it can handle a few. also have some other errors um, for example here where we, we lose a box in the system then uh, after a certain amount of time the box lost is detected and the system will be brought into a halt this can of course be reset like all the other faults and the system will continue after that reset. And we do have a stuck box. Doesn't matter. We also have another error where if uh, we lose a pallet, then the system will uh, by counter see the lost pallet and the system will again go into an error. This error however is not able to be reset since we uh, chose to <coughs> make it um, we chose to make it a complete halt where we need to find out, investigate how come a box, I mean a, a pallet was actually lost uh, seeing that that's not gonna be um, acceptable in the real system. So, in order to uh, get out of this error, we have to reset the entire factory I.O., the entire simulation. Um, I'm gonna do that after we've just seen how the system is looking right now. So, reset. And the system will uh, move all elements. We are able to reset on the HMI since the counter is now zero. And the system will carry on as nothing happened. Um, 
I didn't mention in the beginning that the uh, pigment place is designed by uh, the language graph and so is the three various um, modes the system is able to be in. We have um, <coughs> we have the auto mode, the screen mode that we are in right now. We see error mode and uh, in between there's a standby mode. I've used the uh, SCL for the alarm functions which is uh, looking up in a data block and finding all um, active errors and then setting the system into an error mode if there is any error. Uh, most of the other components are programmed by ladder. Uh, I used ladder, SCL and graph primarily. And that's about it. If you have any questions or uh, if you want to see my project, uh, you can always write me and I will uh, attend to your questions. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about factory I.O., I'll also be willing to answer those. Yeah. I'm just gonna let the system run here uh, by itself and you can see how it's uh, working in automatic. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Bye.